All right, back to our top story. The Sunshine Girls will be back in action for the first time since January of 2020 when they opposed the Calypso Girls of Trinidad and Tobago in game one of three at the National Indoor Sports Centre. Unlike cricket and football, where closely contested games are expected between the Caribbean territories, the Sunshine Girls, ranked fourth, are expected to top of the 10th place to Twin Island Republic. That was exemplified on Thursday evening by the local men's brigade, thrashing the Calypso Girls 66-22. But for coach Connie Francis, there are bigger objectives to be met. So we, we, we will be setting certain goals and um, in the area of the courts where we need to achieve it, we'll be putting out players where I like to, to explore different players on the court to see the combination and see if we can gel well together. So it's, um, the focus is it's really about winning, yes, but it's also giving other players an opportunity to go out there and to show what they can do. Captain Janil Fowler wants the strong Sunshine Girls squad assembled to stamp their authority with shining performances. They have gotten um, so many amazing talents. Um, they've been playing overseas as well. A lot of their players have gone overseas. Well, a few of them have gone overseas to play. So I'm pretty sure that they'll be carrying all that skill sets back to their team. So I know that they're going to come you know, at us again for this game and always going to want to uh, put up a good fight. But it's just for us to make sure we stand our ground. Trinidad coach Althea McCollin appreciates the occasion of being invited for the series, which initially had a South Africa as a third team, but is willing to go down with a gallant effort against the hosts. They are very excited to play Team Jamaica. And as I said, it's just a great experience. See how much we could close the gap. We have done a lot of work. We have done a lot of work over the three months. And I expect to see how much they could execute what have been done or taught on the court over the series here. Despite the overwhelming favorite tag, Coach Francis is also guarding against complacency. They're very physical and I love the physicality um, of the game that they bring because um, netball has moved from very touch foul to it, it's about you have to fight to win it. And this is what I like about them, you know, as um, their captain has said, I, I don't expect our, uh, them to be very soft against them. Um, our girls, I expect them to go out there and to, to rough them up because um, we'll be getting that sort of play, probably not as hard, but it, they certainly help us. The last time both teams squared off was at the Netball World Cup in 2019, where the Sunshine Girls ran out 68-43 winners. Saturday's match tips off at 5.45 p.m. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.